How's it going, fish fam? Those of y'all new to the channel here, my name is Austin, and this is Fantastic Freaks, and this behind me is my fish room. I mean one thing only. Yes, today we are going to continue our aquarium spotlight tour, which this will be the final one of 2022. And what better tank to close out 2022 with the palace of the fish room itself, the house of the queen herself. Of course, that means I'm talking about none other than the 150, which also means that yes, today guys, we're gonna talk about Finley. Hooray, your majesty. So Finley, of course, as some of you already may know, but those of you that don't, this is a Fahaka puffer fish. They're also commonly known as a Nile puffer, mostly because one of the bodies of water that they're found in is none other than the Nile River. They're also known as a banded puffer or the Latin name that you'll see down here. Sorry, but I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Pronunciation is not one of my gifts in life. Finley, who's uh, somewhat in position of her favorite area of the tank here, is, believe it or not, over 14 and a half inches. She's getting pretty close, actually, honestly, to 15 here. She might actually be pretty close to eclipsing that mark. And she just showed you why there's this big crater here to where even some of the glass is showing. She loves to blow on the sand, reason why she does that too is in the wild, puffers also do this trying to hunt for snails. And while there are some in there somewhere, um, she, once she finds them, there is no mercy. She uh, has her supply down low. Probably need to get her some soon here again. But while Finley is just shy of 15 inches, as I said earlier, these puffers can actually, in Aquaria, grow up near the 18 inch mark. So as big and beautiful as she is right now, she can still grow a couple more inches yet. And as you can see, they yawn too. Are they not just adorable? <laughs> and just like a lot of other puffers, and Finley is no different, whenever someone's right by her tank, this is where she is. She's right up the front, very curious of what you're doing, as well as exploring around her tank as well. She's kind of used to seeing me, of course. But this is Finley's favorite spot right here. She likes this little uh, cave area. This is kind of her little... Uh, nook where she feels most comfortable at. She'll sometimes uh, swim around her aquarium here. You can see her two favorite spots based on where she has her craters at. But every once in a while, she'll like to come on over here by the other sponge filter and such. A lot of sponge filtration in here, like that by itself is doing the tank two and a half times over. In terms of other filtration, I mean, I otherwise got a Seachem Title 110 up there. And these attachments here are to a Fluval FX6 because my saying with fish, especially with a puffer here that grows over a foot and will max out near a foot and a half, unless it is messing up your fish's swim pattern, there is no such thing as overfiltration. And that's especially true considering this puffer's diet. Finley here loves all sorts of meaty, high protein foods such as half clam shells, she loves frozen krill, even though I don't know how filling it is for her, she also really likes ghost shrimp and frozen blood worms as well. Again, I don't know how filling those are for her, but she still loves them. Also loves snails, crayfish as well. Sometimes frozen, sometimes live fed and such. But in the end here, she is, uh, this is the definition of a predator. Ah, and here we go, fish fam. Here's Finley in her full glory. Well, almost her full glory. If she would fan out her tail a little bit, then you could truly see her full glory. I think she's starting to swim out and about because she knows I'm recording her right now. She loves the camera, guys. She absolutely loves the attention. What if I'm just taking pictures or if I'm taking video? She loves to come out and strut her stuff. She's probably also coming out and about like, maybe if I give him what he wants, maybe he'll finally bring me my food. Duh. And every once in a while, I do like to give my puffers some live feedings. I think it just gives them a higher quality of life and such. Because, of course, in the wild, they are predators and such. And while they do have some enemies, there's not too many predators that rank above them. And I just think, like I say, letting them hunt and such gives them a little higher quality of life. I think that's a way to get the most out of your puffer. I'm telling you guys, this fish is so smart. She knows that I'm recording her right now. So she's coming out and strutting her stuff right now. She knows that tonight it's all about her, so she is uh, showing herself off. Absolutely, Finley, do your thing. 
All right, since you've been a good puffer, we'll give her some food here, huh? All right, I got about a dozen or more snails here. One of Finley's favorite treats here. Hard shell foods also like this are very important for puffers, as a lot of you know that have followed my channel, because puffers have continuously growing teeth, and Finley here is no different. Her teeth continuously grow, hence about a few times every week at least. I give her some hard crunchy shell foods, or if it be crustaceans like shellfish or crayfish, sometimes even shrimp, or the most available option here in the fish room, of course, is snails. And this here, guys, is going to be an awesome demonstration to show just how powerful these fish's teeth are. There she goes. She's finding them all now. She's getting busy now. Is that just not cool? Just hearing the power of that bite. They go through those snail shells like you and I would, like potato chips or Doritos. There's another one right in front of you, girl. It's right there right there wow. oh there you go boom now as i said earlier though finley currently lives inside this 150 gallon aquarium here which for a fish that grows up as i said earlier to about give or take the 18 inch range um the footprint of this tank is four feet long and two feet in width are back to front here it's not a bad footprint for such a fish, especially if it's only living by itself, as Finley will. It just wouldn't work out if I tried to put anything else with her, especially in a tank this size. Someday down the road, I'm thinking one last upgrade is necessary for our queen of the fish room here. So, obviously, for a while, I've been saying on this channel that I wanted to get her a 180, which is a lot like this 150, only a little bit shorter, but has that same two feet front to back dimension but instead of four feet side to side it's six feet but now of course we have this big old 510 gallon plywood tank sitting over here and with that now a thing uh we can't exactly fit a 180 over here anymore so what are we gonna do now i'm not gonna put a timetable on this but i'm thinking we're gonna do something similar to what we did for mac here we're going to get a custom aquarium, and honestly, I'm thinking we might just build this thing ourselves here. But I'm thinking, namely, something right in this corner, we're going to make like a diamond shape plywood tank. Which may not give her too much more side to side space, but the overall aquarium footprint is going to be almost double, maybe even near triple what she has right now. Like the aquarium I'm thinking for her right now in terms of gallonage is about... 350 gallons here we're gonna finish up this 510 gallon project here first along with probably at least one more here before we get to it but before too much time passes here I'm already starting to get to the beginning steps of it here we're gonna start planning to find a way to give our queen of the fish room here her much deserved upgrade but this guys is Finley and her current 150 gallon aquarium home let me know what you guys think about finley the queen of the fish room as i like to call her if you like this little spotlight video or this update on finley go ahead and give this video a thumbs up leave a comment below what would be your idea if we were to give her an upgrade here and maybe what would you scape her tank as and if you're new here and have not done so already consider clicking the subscribe button to stay in the loop with everything i do like I say, we got some projects coming up here in 2023 that I'm looking very forward to finishing and sharing with all of you. And we definitely plan to get Finley's upgrade, at least in the works here, upcoming in 2023. And I'm very excited because once we get it up and running, it's going to be pretty amazing. But thank you guys, as always, for watching this video and all the continued support you give me. I will see you all in my next video, Fish Fam. As always, stay fantastic.